terrorists. Hold on. Here's Tara's Daily Rant. Okay, this is all part of the cover-up. This whole, hey, yeah, we'll get Hunter on a couple of, like, low-level misdemeanor charges. We'll get him on a gun charge. Um, We're going to do everything we can to avoid the elephant in the room, which is, um, as Jonathan Turley explained yesterday, look, once you start looking at the tax evasion charges, um, uh, everything is digital, money transfers, right? You go very quickly back into the money came from where again? Yeah. China? Russia? I mean, like, like come on. Mm-hmm. We did New York Post, okay? The only people who get, seem to get the Hunter Biden story right long term, and then Fox News just copies their work. $40 million ran through Rosemont, Seneca, and Hunter Biden's personal accounts from a Russian oligarch, okay? And you can't, like, find that? I mean, look, I'm just some mom who does a talk show, and I could tell you what I'd do. You know what I'd do? I'd follow the Paul Manafort model. Yeah. That's what i do. Trump's campaign manager, because, you know, they indict everyone around Trump to yeah. try to make it look like, you know, he's surrounded by criminals. Paul Manafort got indicted, sent to prison, on felony level charges for not registering as a foreign agent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's just start there. That's exactly. That's a, that's a great place to start. Let's start there. Let, let's use the tried and true Paul Manafort Mm -hmm. model to go after Hunter. Let's ask a simple question. Okay. He didn't pay taxes on it. He was laundering it. That's what money laundering is. When you move the money around and you don't pay taxes on it. It's what they call it. Okay, where, 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 where'd that money come from? The FBI is like, I don't know. It's a mystery. Hey, look over there, a squirrel. No, let's keep going. Where'd the money go? There's money transfers. Anybody who's been watching TV knows that now. Well, you have to watch Fox if you're watching mainstream media. I mean, even they're reporting it. We even know where the transfers came from. And we want to help the FBI. I would welcome them this morning to Google the address of the Treasury Department. They'll find it's very conveniently located right there in D.C. And they can do what the Republicans in Congress have done. They can go over and read the more than 150 suspicious activity reports that document the money transfers. Terrorists want it. Hear the Terror Show weekday mornings on News Talk 98.9. WORD, the voice of the Carolinas.